Waterproofing ceilings is optional for showers and bathtub surrounds, but considered best practice when tile will be installed on these surfaces. Waterproofing ceilings is required in steam shower and steam room applications. This video demonstrates the use of the schluter curdy waterproofing membrane over solid backing. Here's how to do it. Solid backing has been installed on the ceiling. In this case, gypsum board is used. The walls have already been made waterproof with the curdy membrane. Schluter curdy is bonded to the ceiling using unmodified thin set mortar. The mortar is mixed to a fairly fluid consistency, but still able to hold a notch. A 1 quarter inch by 3 16 inch V-notch trowel, or the Schluter Curdy trowel, which features a 1 8 inch by 1 8 inch square notch design, is used to apply the mortar. Clean any dust or other debris from the surface of the solid backing. Dampen particularly dry and porous substrates in order to help prevent premature drying or skinning of the thin set mortar. Apply unmodified thin set mortar to the ceiling where the curdy will be placed. Apply a thin layer of the mortar with the flat side of the trowel to produce solid contact with the surface and then comb additional mortar using the notched side of the trowel. Apply the curdy membrane to the ceiling. Embed the curdy in the thin set mortar using the flat side of the trowel or a drywall finishing knife to ensure full coverage and remove air pockets. Lift up a corner of the membrane to check coverage. Proper installation results in full contact between the fleece and thin set mortar. Re-embed the membrane. Depending on the size of the ceiling, it may be necessary to install multiple sheets of curdy to cover the entire surface. Waterproof integrity is maintained at joints using two inch wide overlaps in conjunction with unmodified thin set mortar. Curdy sheets may be joined using a two inch wide lap seam. Alternatively, curdy sheets may be butted and covered with Schluter Curdy Band waterproofing strips centered over the joint. Since curdy band is one half the thickness of the curdy membrane, buildup at seams is minimized using this method. In this application, the use of curdy band will be demonstrated. Apply unmodified, thin-set mortar to the area where the banding is to be installed. Embed the curdy band into the thin-set mortar. Install Schluter Curdy Carrick preformed inside corners using unmodified thin set mortar. Apply the mortar to the area where the Curdy Carrick is to be installed. Embed the Curdy Carrick into the thin set mortar. Holding one side of the corner in place while embedding the other side in the mortar helps keep corner installation simple and easy. Repeat the process at the remaining inside corners. The final step in waterproofing the ceiling is to use curdy band to seal wall to ceiling transitions. Measure and cut sections of the banding such that a two inch overlap is achieved at all junctions.
A two-inch overlap can be achieved at Curdy Carrick without continuing Curdy Band all the way to the corners of the shower. This will limit buildup of the membrane in these areas and make setting small tiles easier. The Curdy Band may be creased prior to installation to help maintain tight corners and make subsequent tile setting as easy as possible. Apply unmodified, thin-set mortar to the area where the banding is to be installed. Embed the curdy band into the thin-set mortar. Repeat this process at all remaining joints, ensuring that the minimum 2-inch overlap is achieved at all transitions. Once the entire ceiling is covered with the curdy membrane, including seams and corners, the assembly is waterproof, vapor-tight, and ready for tile.